Hi everyone. So today I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how to add integers. Um, I think it's a really simple concept. A way that I like to think about it and it helps me, you know, kind of understand is that if it's a positive number, it means that you have money. So let's say it's of plus five, it means that you have five dollars. And if it's a negative number, like negative two, it means that you owe me money. You owe me two dollars. So for example, in this in this first problem, you can see it's a positive five. That means that you have five dollars. And it's a negative two, which means that you owe me two dollars. So if I see you and I see that you have five dollars, I'm gonna be like, I want my money, pay me back. Once you pay me back, you're left with three dollars. So that's how you do it. The second one is a little bit different because the negative number is bigger than the positive number. So let's say you borrowed five dollars from me. I want my money back, but you only have two dollars, but I still want something, you know, like I'll be like, OK, it's fine. Give me the two dollars that you have next week when you get paid. Give me the rest. So you give me the two dollars and you still owe me three dollars that you have to pay me back next week when you get paid. And in the next problem, it gets even worse because you owe me even more money. You start off asking me for five dollars. I give them to you. And then you go and ask me for more money. You ask me for $2. And I'm a nice person, so I say, yes, I'll give you the other $2. Now you owe me $7. And next time I see you, I'm going to ask you to give me my $7 back. Now here, this is a good, happy problem. Because here you don't owe any money. It's all money for you. You have $5. Someone gives you $2. Now you have $7. And you don't lose any money. And that's it. Simple. <laughs>